We're looking at the parts of a three-piece wheel horse transmission. All we have here is the differential housing and the two side plates. So the differential rides on your bushings here on these axle tubes and sometimes these axle tubes show a lot of wear so you can't really replace that but you can replace your bushing so what do you do when you have too much wear on your axle tubes here's one thing that I do this is an old one and I'd machine this down to a 30-second undersized bushing. So I press in bushings that are a little bit smaller, and we machine this down to where it's a good surface. Still has enough meat there to be functional. So we're going to set that up on the milling machine. Take a look at how I do that. So here's how I set it up on the mill. This one was an old one. It's actually got, you can see some pitting going on here. This one's been laying apart for a while. We're going to fix that. So all I care about is the orientation of this tube. Since this is a fairly thin plate, just clamping the plate flat doesn't really guarantee this is square with everything and when you bolt this to the casting it's going to straighten this plate or change it to whatever the casting face is so all I care about is that I'm lined up with the existing tube so I actually have this shimmed from side to side I got some feeler stock here so I shim it from side to side until I get this indicated to where I don't have any variance vertically. So, and I do the same thing this direction. Now this direction I don't, this direction I flex the tube out and put feeler gauges behind here and clamp that solid. So I use feeler gauges here for this axis, feeler gauges here for this axis. So now I'm true to that bore in addition to indicating to find the center of your bore. So that's how I set that up. So what I'm going to do here is use a boring head to bore the outside of this axle tube. So, to set your machine up, I want to use the automatic feed, which kicks out when I get to the depth of the quill. So, first step is setting the depth of the quill so that when this comes down to the bottom, the automatic feed will shut it off. Now, if you've noticed, uh, a standard boring bar to work on the outside of this tube I would have to turn counterclockwise because boring bars are usually made to cut on the inside <clears throat> so here I have a homemade boring bar which you can tell used to be an end mill and in fact was a left-handed end mill which is handy because that allows me to make a left-handed boring bar to run on the outside of this tube so that I can go clockwise while I'm going down because that's the way the automatic feed on this machine needs to work I can't run the quill in reverse and have it feed downward So we got to go forward with the reverse tool. So 
So this is the first pass. It's only touching on this one side because this side over here is where the wear was at. We're going to take a 30 seconds of an inch off of this to get to the next standard bushing size. Here's a look at the other side. This is the last side to clean up where most of the wear was.